Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, so we're starting the video mid-afternoon. Every week I'm going to try and film one all my week and put the best bits into a video like I did last week as that went down really, really well. I'm then also going to try and film a fitness video like uh, with some informative content or just some a fun sort of fitness video. So this is what we're doing today. I am just about to go in and hit legs. And to be honest with you, training legs for the past month, month and a half has been awful no strength not enjoying it at all every session has been hard every set has been hard my squat form has been awful um so i really haven't gone heavy at all but i'm determined today i've got no work this evening so i've got to take as long as i want in there to make sure i get the best leg session i can possibly hit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break it down for you i'm gonna show you all my exercises sets reps um so if you want to follow this along yeah it should be quite a good one also gonna do warm-up mobility uh, and stretching and take you through all of that sort of stuff as well. So please hang around, sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's roll the intro. Yeah. So I'm sipping on a monster as per, but I've been really into these this week. They are so good, good macros too. Rich is about to hit heavy bench. Where is he? There is, so I'm going to spot him for that and then warm up. Firstly, great score plan. You've seen the video. Massive feels. Very good tune as well. Right, so you've just seen incline walk, then into a small slide jog to warm up. I then do static and dynamic stretches. So dynamic, I took you for a range. Lunge walks, leg swings, lots of stuff for my groin, adductors and abductors, and quads obviously. And then I do leg swings, I'll now do a load of static stuff, uh, stretch out my lower back as well, uh, and then get into squats. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, squats have been rubbish recently. So the plan is to do uh, 70 for 10, 80 for eight, 90 for six, 100 for four, 110 for three, yeah, and then I hit some accessories. Uh. Squats were done. I said that I was going to do pyramid all the way up and then all the way back down, but I'm not just going to stop there and I'm going to go on to a close grip stance squat. Um, but what was really nice is I took my time over those squats when I was actually under the bar, set myself. The bar movement was really, really good. I mean, I won 110, that's hardly any weight at all, but it was good to sort of strip it back. So the past three weeks, I haven't gone over 80 kilos. So if it's like 80 kilos, tried to, I had a little niggle on my groin. But I've tried to really improve my form once again, so felt pretty good there. My knees haven't been buckling in, so yeah. If you're ever 
squatting heavy but it's not effective, you're getting injuries, just strip it back down, take your time over the squats because there's no point doing heavy weight if you're not doing the form right. All right, I'm going to go on to a close grip plant squat now, super set with stiff leg deadlift, so I'll show you that now. That's three rounds of that. Close grip stance, just a slightly hit different angle on the quad, and then stiff leg deadlifts. And what we did is you saw I stood on the box. All that does is this allows you to get that slightly longer range of motion stretched down slightly further. Next superset, reverse lunges, calf raises. Once again. That's the final superset, single leg extension and then single leg hamstring. I don't know if you know what they're called, it's almost a secret video I've been doing for a while and it really helped strengthen my hamstrings and also help with sort of balance and really sort of stuff with that. So they're really good. Now I'm going to do this for four rounds because start with the left leg for two, start with the right leg for two, make sure you're keeping it balanced. And also with that hamstring exercise, you're probably going to have one dominant side. So you'll notice that I was slightly off balance at times. And that's just purely just getting used to that movement. So stick at it, get that weight nice and close to your shin as you're sliding down. And yeah, and you'll pick it up eventually. Okay guys, so we wrapped up my session. I then just did half an hour of cardio because I've just been doing cardio at the end of my workout. Just because I've started my cut soon and I'm in a slight calorie surplus, but I don't want to put on too much weight or fat. So I'm still keeping a little bit of cardio. Now I'm going to stretch and roll out probably one of the most important parts about leg day to prevent injuries and stuff like that. I did a really good video with Al about stretching mobility, so I'm going to link that down below. There's a thumbnail right there. Just quick time lapse of this. But if you want to watch more, check that video out and I think I'll be in the car. Once again. Okay lads, so that wraps up the leg session. It was actually the first good leg session in a while. I don't know if it was because I didn't have to rush. I don't know if it was because I was filming it. But yeah, it was a really, really good workout. Squats started to feel good again. And then you'll notice that everything after squats was superseted. That's just because I generally like a faster paced workout once squats are done. So yeah, good workout. I was happy with that. If you've enjoyed this video, or even if you're going to go and try this workout out, give the video a like, um, hit subscribe. If you're going to like this style of video, so one sort of informative gym content a week and then one sort of roundup vlog, let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see, whether it be a type of workout, my opinion on something, trial in something, challenges, whatever. Let me know down below what you want to see. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.